music's my first love. Uh, it really is. If I could, I'd give up all my athletic ability to be able to sing. It's just something that I've felt passionate about. It's something that the way that music kind of makes you feel and you can connect with it. I'll get that part down. So yeah, so this is our normal day. Wake up, some pancakes, coffee. And then dad does the... Uh, bacon. The dad eggs. does the bacon and the eggs. I make a mean omelet, don't I? My family has been my drive for my entire career. That's who you play for. Zach has always been super determined and like he sets his mind to something, he's going to do it. He wants to learn how to play the guitar. He watches YouTube and teaches himself how to play the guitar. He wants to play the piano. He's going to teach himself how to play the piano. He wants to play football again. He is going to do everything he can to get back on that football field. Bella tells me all the time she doesn't want me to stop playing. Um, and, and that alone is almost painful for me to hear her say that because I don't want to let her down. And I know that there's a possibility that I can't come back and play. And for me to, to sit down and tell her like, hey, daddy's got to be done, that's going to hurt. Six minutes to go, third quarter of the Saints 25. Ball on the left, Ash Trubisky in the gun. Trips to the, right the whole day was off, just from the get-go. I remember thinking in my head before I even broke, like, we got a touchdown here. And then uh, initially it was told not to, to look up at the board because they were running the replay. I didn't ever think it was what it ended up being. Something felt different. Got to a point where... Um, I started lose feeling in my leg and starting to get some discoloration and things, and it was time for us to get to the hospital. I told Zach, I was like, do I need to come to New Orleans? And he's like, yeah, I think you do. So I came home, I started packing my bag, and I remember finally just saying, like, what's going on, and is it possible for him to lose his leg? I remember waking up and not wanting to remove the sheet to see if my leg was still there. This is the double fasciotomy, where they cut me on both sides of my calf to relieve the, the pressure, repaired the artery. Moved here to where they actually repaired my knee, went in and fixed the ligaments. And then I got a couple of uh, these little holes from the external fixator. A grand total of 48 inches of scars all together. How'd that feel, Zach? Like a million bucks. If I don't know how this has changed me quite yet, because um, I'm still right in the middle of it, I know that it's taught me a lot of patience. It's taught me a lot of gratitude. I was able to try and start to learn the piano. I'm so used to competing and being challenged on a daily basis, but now I got something that I can learn and love and, and still be challenged. That was my outlet, and see if I can enjoy some new things. I got it now. There's a number of things physically that need to happen for me to be able to play football, but I'm doing everything I can to get to that point. And when the point comes, I'll know if I'm physically able to do it, and, and I'll know that I gave everything I had to get there. I can't control really the outcome of it, but I wouldn't want to go away without trying. I wouldn't forgive myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I work as hard as I can to, to get back, and if I, if I do it, then that'd be a, a wonderful blessing. But if I can't, I know that, that that chapter has to come to an end at some point.